Our other top story tonight, a four-day mystery comes to a tragic end. Everyone on board the Titan submersible is assumed dead. The Coast Guard announcing that the vessel likely imploded on its way down to view the wreckage of the Titanic. The sub was operated by Everett-based company OceanGate. And now the safety and design of the experimental sub is being called into question. The CEO of OceanGate talked about the quality of the sub with Fox 13 back in 2020, telling us back then that their early design, quote, didn't have the safety to carry passengers. Fox 13's Jennifer Dowling is taking a closer look into those comments and why it may offer clues about what may have happened to the submersible. Jennifer. In hindsight, some of those statements that he made during that interview are chilling. The CEO suggested that early in the design process, durability was an issue. The first hull had enough to go a couple of times, but didn't have the safety we, we needed to, to take people in. OceanGate CEO Stockton Rush said safety was an early concern when Fox 13 interviewed him a couple years ago about the Titan. We actually uh, contracted with Boeing for some of the early design work on uh, uh, on Titan, our uh, 4,000 meter, you know, 14,000 foot capable sub. After talking with numerous defense contractors, Rush said they sidetracked with a small California company. He had some experience in uh, using a less expensive uh, carbon fiber manufacturing technology. Um, we made our last haul with that. Rush told us he took the early sub to 4,000 meters alone before bringing others. Took four people down to 3,700 meters, and then uh, it as can happen with composites, it was clear that the hull was starting to degrade. By 2020, he said quality improved. It was not of the quality we needed, uh, and now we have gone and worked with NASA um, and uh, some local companies, uh, Electro Impact, uh, Janicky uh, up north, uh, to use aerospace grade uh, manufacturing process. And so uh, very confident that the uh, new hull, uh, the new carbon fiber piece, we're going to mate it to our titanium, existing titanium pieces, and then we'll have a hull that has the durability to go back year after year. I reached out to those Rush cited as working with OceanGate. Boeing said it was, quote, not a partner on the Titan and did not design or build it. Meantime, NASA said it's quote, Marshall Space Flight Center had a Space Act agreement with OceanGate and consulted on materials and manufacturing processes for the submersible. NASA did not conduct testing and manufacturing via its workforce or facilities, which were done elsewhere. Electro Impact said, we extend our deepest sympathies to the families and loved ones of the individuals who tragically lost their lives on the Titan. All of this has many asking, was there some kind of a design flaw that ultimately led to the implosion of the submersible? If you look at, say, Alvin or James Cameron sub or Victor Vescovo, who just went to the Mariana Trench, that was a purpose-built, those are purpose-built vehicles of just get me down there. Director James Cameron has done multiple dives to the Titanic. He said many in the community were concerned about the Titan being too experimental. If that's your sole goal is to achieve the greatest depth, then you go with the sphere and everyone tends to go with known materials like titanium. What we needed was something that had the space to, to really get an interaction and a different experience for people. And that's that ends up being a cylinder. In the past, Rush has also cited working with UW. We reached out to the university's applied physics lab, and they tell us that they provided some engineering services between 2013 and 2020, helping with shallow diving and the creation of a different steel hulled submersible called Cyclops. It went on to say, quote, the university's and laboratory's engineering partnership with OceanGate ended with completion of the shallow water vessel Cyclops, which served as a test platform for OceanGate since 2015, because APL UW expertise involved only shallow water implementation. The laboratory was not involved in the design, engineering, or testing of the Titan submersible used in the RMS Titanic expedition. We also reached out to Janicky, another company that Rush said had helped OceanGate work on the Titan, and we're waiting to hear back. Jennifer Dowling, Fox 13 News.